in passage planning guys uh, you will, will always bear in mind a keyword that is appraisal a for appraisal b for planning e for execution and m for monitoring so that's a keyword that you have to remember so what does it mean so let's find out show you how to make a passage plan or passage planning tutorial I I hope at the end of this vlog you can learn something you will be able to know how to make a passage plan so I will start now guys and I hope you will stay tuned in passage planning guys uh, you will, will always bear in mind a keyword that is appraisal A for appraisal B for planning E for execution and aim for monitoring. So that's a keyword that you have to remember. So what does it mean? So let's find out. First, appraisal. In appraisal, guys, you have to gather all the information, the tides, the port information, the sailing directions, the traffic in the area, and all the information you have to gather. The time difference, the time zone. So for us to know what are they, to gather all the information, let's back to basic, guys. So first, you need uh, to get a guide to port entry. In guide to port entry, guys, you will be able to know at the location, the coordinates, and the density, and all you can find in this one, guys. Guide to port entry, the text. So here, the uh, you can uh, read what are the pre-arrival information the port uh, authority requirements so here you can find this ah uh, guide to port entry text so there are two uh, guide to port entry the other is the plan guys so in the plan it will show to you the picture of the said port area so i will show you here this is the inside of the plan guide to port entry so you will need this one in making a passage plan and after that guys you also need the ship surveying guys so here you can find all the traffic separation scheme so it's really vital you have to know this one in making a passage plan like there's a traffic separation scheme scheme that only designated for dangerous cargo and for non-dangerous cargo and to know more about here you can find the information in the shapes of pain and after that guys you can also uh, get information from your area that you are going to get in the sailing directions so here you can find out uh, like the bridge or uh, the density and all related about the port you can find here so it's one of the box that you have to find so the, we have also a digital here and aside from this one guys you also need uh, to get the tides the draft the set uh, port so that's uh, will sum up the appraisal so you have to gather all the information as part of the appraisal guys uh, we have also to gather the, the what we called uh, tides on that side area so let's uh, find let's find out the tides in Skagen. Skagen. You have to search. So here you can find out the Skagen guys. This is the Skagen. So you can see here. So you can see here that uh, what we call it guys the height of the tide on that area so this is one of the appraisal that you have to gather to gather the tides information and after the gathering the information with the tide guys we have also to consider to check the time zone on the said area so let's see the mark guys 
so Denmark let's check uh, their zone description so here guys the zone description uh, is a negative one so here you can find out guys if we need to advance or adjust the tide so that it's in the Admiralty Digital Radio Signal 2 and also guys you have to check if you have the chart on that area so like for example we're using the chart planner so you just check if you have a chart on the Skagen this is the Skagen guys so we have the chart chart on that area guys so no need if you have uh, if you don't have the chart on that area you need to order like for example i will show you how to order just click this one this one and this uh, in the publication you can find out the the list of the chart that you need to order so you go to order guys so uh, i will not continue because it will show the name of my ship so uh I don't want to disclose the name of my ship so after that one guys you have to order you have to send that one on the company and the Tatima will uh, provide us the new chart the permit of the chart and after that I will have to install that one on the ICTIS so that's a part of the appraisal guys gathering all the information and also guys in the advent of technology you can also search, you can also find out the location of the port in our ICTIS. So by the way, now we are using Transas ICTIS and that's I would uh, show to you how to make a passage plan in using a Transas ICTIS. So, so now guys, I will turn the camera. I will show you how to find a specific port using the Transas. So let's find out and also let's start to make a passage plan here in Ignis. as part of the appraisal guys as what i said we have to gather the all information here in Ignis, guys and find the location of the said port you just how you just go to task list you have to go to task and you have to select a country and a port like for example guys we will select the philippines so select the country i will type philippines and select the port so we will search uh, my hometown my home place cebu so just type the word cebu guys so here and you have to highlight on that area so let's zoom out so now guys you can see the philippines it's more fun in philippines so that's uh, one of the uh, method on how to find the specific uh, port guys so by using uh, what we call the atlas and also here and uh this so guys as you can see uh, we don't have the chart the depth on that area you know why because if you are new on that area you need to order the chart you need to ask for the permit on the provider like us the datima so we will request uh, the chart for that area and they will send to us the permit so and after that we have to install so it's another topic guys so now let's move on to the second stage of passage planning and that is planning so to make a planning guys passage plan you have to go on task you have to go to the road planning so new so guys let's uh, assume that we we will make a passage plan from Tallinn Estonia to Skagen start new guys so you go to route planning so Tallinn Estonia we will find the Tallinn Estonia guys Tallinn Estonia is here uh, so let's zoom in 
so this is our from our ship's position here we will pass on the breakwater and pass it here and we go to the uh, pilot station uh, this is the where you can drop the pilot station and after that you will pass the traffic separation at the right angle so here at the right always uh, pass at the right angle in the traffic separation guys so just go and here you just uh, go to the deep water from here guys you have to pass on a deep water and deep water again and down uh, no, no, no. so I just only a rough guys we will just edit uh, later so here's the sounds let's say that we will pass uh, and uh, drogen or let's say we will pass here and uh, drogen guys Where's their palatage? So here guys in making you have to it's only just for the sake of our passage plan You will pass it here where you can see okay I'll pass it here guys I will just edit that one I will read so guys this is the Skagen this is our uh, destination so just for the sake of our voyage so pilot Skagen so let's go to the pilot Skagen so that is guys as you can see that it's only a rough uh, passage plan so let's make a review guys so first let's go to waypoint 1 guys waypoint 1 So you have to put the name guys, like for example, uh, Bert. And we point one, it will show you the we point one guys. This is the breakwater. You have to put the name breakwater. B breakwater. And after that, you have to well, edit the cross track error. As you can see, you can also edit here and also here, guys. So let's adjust the cross track error, guys. The XTD because we already the purpose of this, guys. It will, uh, it's like it will be your um, margin of safety, like a parallel index. So it will alarm if you already pass out of the cross track error so after that guys after you did the cross track error on that you can also put a remarks here like position fixing uh, every let's see 10 minutes 
uh, bridge watch type E. So, and other remarks, guys, that uh, need uh, to be put like you have to change uh, the safety parameters to see like that you have to put on the remarks so let's see on the remarks number two let's copy also okay just copy that remarks guys you can see uh, so see there's already uh, you can also see the remarks here position fixing every 10 minutes so that's the purpose of the remarks you just have to make a waypoint so let's see uh what's a uh, vini valti vini valti so i put guys vini valti so we have already the name of we put one and two and that's it guys uh, we will not uh, put uh, the name uh, in all waypoints uh, because it will uh, takes time so as part in uh, passage planning guys we have to consider and we must put the parallel index the abort point the contingency plan no go areas and uh, well over point so what are they guys uh, i will show you some example so first uh, we will go to map so this is the world planning guys we have to go to tasks we have to go to maps and we will make a new maps guys so create a new map so now let's make a pi guys so how parallel index so first in parallel index from 274 274 plus MP you have to make a line guys adjacent to your course 274 yeah okay so it's already 274 guys so add line framework course line so let's so 004 you have to get like 274 plus 90 it's a uh, 00 364 so get the right angle so now guys you have already the parallel index the range is 3.18 so uh, we have already a parallel index uh, to this area guys to this uh, what we called uh, this costa so after that you have to put a name guys you have to go to text pi pi stand for parallel index is called the distance a while ago 3.18 nautical miles so add object so let, let's put it here so guys we have already now the pi so how to make a no-go areas like for example let's assume that how we it's no-go areas we are not allowed to pass in here you just uh, make a no-go areas here like that it's only an example guys just for you to know how to make a no-go areas so here So as you can see guys, it was a uh, highlight and this one, this is the Nugo areas. So you have to go to text, you put a Nugo area. 
no go area so add object guys so now you have we have a no go area so let's change the color guys so that it will visible let's go to red so that, that's it no go areas so we have already a parallel index a no go area uh, our next uh, will be uh, well over so well over guys uh, it's used uh, uh, especially during a bad weather you have to get the range and bearing of the set let's make an example guys here so now guys let's uh, make a well over so uh, to get the well over we will get the range and bearing like for example we will change the course 24 at the waypoint 24 from your course you get the bearing of this Helsingborg 72 bearing 72 range 0 0.71 nautical miles so you have to make a line guys where right now so this is the one so it's you have to make a line get from here here so well you have to put well over let's say well over equals 0 0.72 degrees times 0 0.71 nautical miles add object so now the purpose of this well over guys if you are in the bad weather restricted visibility uh, you can see the range and bearing of this helsing board on the reader so at this point you can uh, have an idea that at this point you have to change your course and that's the well over guys let's assume that we finish so let's uh, save this one let's put a uh, uh, Tallinn from Tallinn to Skagen Skagen is in Denmark guys just for information so let's save guys so now guys uh, let's assume that we finish on making a passage plan let's go to execution guys the third uh, st stage in a passage plan is the execution so let's assume that uh, we go already uh, we go for ceiling so execution that's the time that it's coming guys it's like also the same as monitoring so let's go to monitoring guys let's load our route that we make it's Tallinn guys Tallinn Ooh. Tallinn and Skagen guys here Tallinn and Skagen so it's already loaded guys yeah so finally let's assume that we make so this is the Tallinn to Skagen guys so uh, let's go to route data so let's go to route data guys as you can see here guys from Tallinn Estonia to Skagen Denmark is around 683 miles so let's compute guys uh, how many days uh, we go for sailing uh, let's say that we have a uh, 12 knot speed so from here guys uh, today is uh, 11 it's around three days of navigation going to Skagen so that's uh, the execution guys and the last stage in making a passage plan is monitoring in monitoring guys uh, that's uh, the position fixings come in using the terrestrial celestial navigation so you have to monitor if you are on the track if you are on the safe side and that's uh, the last stage in voyage planning 
the what we called our monitoring your passage plan so guys that's uh, how to make a passage plan guys that's the end of my uh, video how to make a passage plan or the passage planning tutorial i hope you learned something so guys if you have uh, any suggestion comment down below for our next topic i'm happy and glad uh, if you have a, any suggestion so i thank guys that will be all uh, i hope you will continue to support, me, to support me throughout my journey so laban lang tayo always guys laban lang sir nil tv